Have you got a minute to learn whether dyslexia is genetic? The short answer is yes. Dyslexia often runs in families. So if your child has dyslexia, there's a chance you or another relative might have it too. About 40% of siblings of children with dyslexia might have the same reading issues. And up to 49% of parents of kids with dyslexia may have it too. Dyslexia is regarded as a neurobiological condition that is genetic in origin. This means that individuals can inherit this condition from a parent and it affects the performance of the neurological system, specifically the parts of the brain responsible for learning to read. Dyslexia isn't the result of poor teaching, instruction or upbringing and it's not linked to intelligence. Scientists have also found several genes associated with reading and language processing issues. The Dyslexia Trust in the UK is one of the research centres. They say that one of the strongest risk factors for dyslexia is having a close relative with reading problems and having a family history of dyslexia. Comparing identical and non-identical twins has shown that your genes account for about half your reading skills and upbringing and environment, the other half. But dyslexia is a complex cognitive problem that is several levels removed from the proteins whose synthesis genes control. So working out how the genetic factors interact with environmental factors to cause reading problems is difficult. Dyslexia is strongly hereditary and so is whether you are right or left-handed. The Dyslexia Trust didn't find any special relationships between reading problems and handedness. Relative hand skills was the same in our dyslexic families as in the population at large. Even though non-right handedness did not seem to be strongly associated with reading problems, overall motor dexterity did correlate with reading ability. In the research, the faster the subjects were at moving pegs from one set of holes to another with either hand, the better they were at reading. Accurate motor timing and coordination seem to be conducive to good reading. This is an exciting time for dyslexia research. For the first time, there is the opportunity to study the biological and molecular mechanisms underlying the causes of dyslexia. Eventually, this research will lead to a better definition of dyslexia and will provide better diagnostic tools to identify different categories of dyslexic individuals and more targeted intervention strategies. If you have a child or a family member struggling with dyslexia, you need to act now as the research findings are still years away. We have online courses for children and adults, so go to the How We Help page and have a look at the course overviews. If you like that video, what are they gonna do? Press like down there? Hi, it's Marianne from dyslexia.com.au. And if you like that video, press like down below and you can also subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when there's a new video for you to watch.